Uh, police are investigating an armed robbery uh, that occurred at the Kira Sports Club in Aptel Street, Kira, early this morning. At uh, just before 6 a.m., um, an employee of the club uh, attended the club to open up. Upon opening the front doors, uh, a single male offender has approached the uh, the employee and uh, demanded he open the door. Um, the offender was armed with a hand, what appeared to be a handgun. The uh, offender has then taken um, the employee of the club inside. Um, he's demanded uh, to be taken to uh, an area, the administration area of the club, where um, he asked the employee to open the safe. Um, the, um, the employee was tied up and a large sum of money was taken. Uh, the male person, the male offender, was last seen escaping through the car park of the, uh, of the Kira Sports Club on foot. Um, He's been described as between 175 and 180 centimetres tall. The offender was wearing uh, all dark clothing, a balaclava, a dark jacket and dark pants, um, and was um, wearing gloves. Um, we would be asking any member of the public who saw anything suspicious, suspicious uh, who saw anything untowards in that area uh, this morning, uh, to contact uh, Crime Stoppers or their local police. Concerning? Sorry? Is this concerning? Any offence involving uh, firearms or weapons is concerning to us. Have there been any sightings of this fellow at all other than the one from the, the victim? We're still investigating that. Um, at this point of time we're not aware of any further witnesses. Was the victim touched or, or pushed or anything like that of that nature? Uh, the victim was not harmed but was obviously um, uh, there was some physical contact between the two but he was not harmed at all but obviously he's quite shaken by the experience. There's reports that he was bound up. Can you explain? No, that's all I can tell you at this point of time. Security pictures of the incident, there are some? We, we do have some CCTV footage which I'll try and make available to you immediately. Now, we only just received it two minutes ago. Okay, okay. So it's, we're just checking that now and it should be available for okay. you by the time we finished here. Have you seen that at all? Just now, yes. Could you just talk us through briefly what, what it is? I mean, is it fairly violent sort of stuff at all? Well, uh, the, um, in answer to your question, well, any, any robbery involving a weapon is violent, even though uh, physical violence may not be used. We do consider it an offence of violence. But the footage shows the uh, manager arriving, or the employee arriving at the club, uh, the offender then approaching him at the front door. They enter the club and then um, he commits the offence and uh, then he leaves the, the club um, all within the space of uh, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And are you able to say how old the victim was? No, I'm not. So it lasted that long, up to 20 minutes? This, this is Roughly ideal. between 15 to 20 minutes. How is he? He must be the, terrified. He's quite shaken, yes. Given that uh, he complied, did he react as you would expect someone or you would like someone to do in the situation? Certainly, yes. We would not advocate uh, people take things into their own hands. We would not advocate that people confront anyone who's armed with uh, any sort of weapon. It's probably too early to say, but any um, from looking at the footage, or does he bear any resemblance or act in any way mm. to similar crimes that we've seen down here? It's too early to say at this point of time. There's been some similar um, hold-offs down in Moolamba and Condon um, at, at sports clubs as well. Is there any relation, do you reckon? Or? It's too early to say at this point of time, but we have been uh, conversing with our colleagues in New South Wales in relation to similar offences. What are you looking for from the public, Brian? Look, anyone who's got any information at all about who may have committed this offence and anyone who may have seen anyone acting suspiciously in the vicinity of the Kira Sports Club early this morning um, before 6am, if they could contact their local police or Crime Stoppers on uh, 1800 333 000. There were some reports apparently that somebody saw a suspicious character yesterday um, lurking around. Cause you, would you have to know that the club would be open at 6am? Isn't that very unusual? Um, well, not able to comment on that. Um, if your question is if you think if there was a degree of planning in this, in this offence, well, there does appear to be a degree of planning in, in the commission of the offence, yes. How long was he so, sort of tied up and before somebody else came to... to his uh, I couldn't say at this point of time. Is it an hour? No, it wasn't that long, no. No. No, less, it was certainly less than an hour. Uh, was, he, was he able to free himself to phone? Yes, he was. I will be getting that into that in a moment, but is this a matter for the new task force as well? Yes, we're working closely with our colleagues from State Crime Operations Command. And we're, I, mean, I did hear one officer say that it was a shame it's happened the day before the funeral tomorrow. It must be pretty hard wrenching for officers today. Look, it is a very uh, difficult time for any police officer, but in particular detectives uh, in this region. Um, of course, we, um, as we remember um, the events of last week, um, but um, you know they're, they're, they are a very good uh, group of professionals here and, um, and are just doing their job as best they can.